Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch running iOS 8.1.2 on Mac OS X. I made a video about this in December of this year. However, there actually was not a forum to jailbreak your device directly on Mac OS X. Now there is called PP Jailbreak. So luckily, we have a native version of the jailbreaker to jailbreak our iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches on the Mac OS X operating system. So just a couple of notes before I begin. As I said, this is native for Mac OS X, so if you're looking for Windows, go ahead and check out one of my other tutorials. Also, you want to have a latest version Apple device, either an iPhone 4S through the iPhone 6 Plus, any of the recent iPads, or an iPod Touch 5. And you also want to have iOS 8 through 8.1.2 installed. I recommend 8.1.2 just because that's the latest version, but go ahead and have any of those operating systems installed. Also, you're going to want to back up your device using iTunes or iCloud. Guides to do that are on Google. You're going to want to restore to the stock iOS 8.1.2 firmware using iTunes. Guides for that are on Google and you're going to want to disable your passcodes, touch ID, and find my iPhone on your device, which guides are on Google again for that. I have typed all this out here guys. So quickly again, you just want to have a latest version Apple device running iOS 8.1.2. Also want to have Mac OS 10 on your, on your laptop or computer. You want to back up your device, restore to the latest firmware, and disable all your passcodes and find my iPhone. Once all that is completed, you can go ahead and download the jailbreak tool which I'll go ahead and open up for you guys right now. As you can see the jailbreak tool is called PP jailbreak and this is what it looks like. Now don't be alarmed it actually is written in Chinese as the hackers were Chinese but I do have proof that this works and I've tried this once that this this does work on the jailbreak sites I've used in the past so don't freak out. It is a little sketchy but it does work however I will say proceed at your own risk just as I always have with jailbreaking. So once you download the program you're going to want to go ahead and hook up your Apple device. As you can see I have my iPhone 6 hooked in here with the lightning cable, so go ahead and do that. Once you have it hooked in, you're going to want to go ahead and click this center button after you uncheck this little lower hand checkbox. So uncheck the checkbox in the lower left and click the center button. You'll be taken to a screen that looks like this and essentially what you're going to do is click the bottom right hand button. Once you click that button, you'll see a little scroll bar coming across the middle and you will see that the process has started. You'll also see something happening on the screen of your device, you'll be able to see a little little spinning bar or a scroll bar or scrolling text, something like that. And that's how you know it's working. Finally, after that, when your device reboots, you're going to restart your device again. So once it reboots on its own, you're going to turn it off and turn it back on. And you'll have Cydia as an icon on the home screen, which is the jailbreak installer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you jailbreak your devices. I will be jailbreaking my iPad 3 later in the week, let you guys know how that goes. I'm not going to be jailbreaking my iPhone six because I use that day to day don't want to jailbreak that but hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to rate thumbs up favorite and subscribe um, also be sure to check out my social networks like Twitter Facebook Google Plus down in the description I also have a link for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free so check that out and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully you liked the video and be sure to stay around for more thanks peace